Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a 11 game NBA slate for you. Before I get started, can you guys smash that like and subscribe button? Uh, let's go ahead and get into this slate here. We do have a quite an extensive injury report for the Clippers. Zubac is out for the Cavs. Mobley is questionable, and Garland and Thompson are out for the Knicks. Randall and Robinson are out for the Hornets. Ball is questionable. Williams, Hayward, and Lowry are out. For the Celtics, Porzingis and Horford are questionable. For the Suns, Nurkic and Gordon are questionable. For the Nets, Sharp and Dorian Finney-Smith are out. For the Lakers, LeBron and Davis are questionable. Reddish and Vincent are out. For the Rockets, Eason is out. For the Spurs, Collins is questionable. Barlow, Barlow is questionable. For the Timberwolves, Conley is questionable. For the Grizzlies, Morant, Bain, Smart, and Rose are out. And for the Magic, Fultz is questionable. Harris is out. For the Mavs, Exum and Jones and Powell are questionable, and Kyrie Irving remains out. So we do have a lot of injuries on the slate when that, and a lot of questionable tags that they could potentially open up some other options. This slate is somewhat rough as there's not a lot of plays that look super super solid, but there's a lot of GPP plays on the slate. So we will go through those here. So let's go ahead and start with our core plays. Victor Wimbiyama is my favorite play on the slate. He's been absolutely uh, doing fantastic. In 10 of the last 11 games, he's been over 46 fantasy points. He needs 44 and a half on this slate, so he looks like a really solid option today. He's been playing very well. Looking at another option here, Nick Claxton here for the Nets. Uh, he has been also uh, playing very well with six straight games, over 34 fantasy points, which is what he needs today. He obviously does have a little bit of a lower floor, but he's been rebounding the ball very well, and he's got a lot of upside in this matchup, and it looks like that uh, he should get a full complement of minutes today as, as well as he's been playing a lot of minutes lately. So then I have some other plays that have some utility today, one being Luka Doncic. Now, he does have a tougher matchup here, but he is matchup proof, and he's been having some monster games lately. Uh, we do want to make sure that he does end up playing today because he was probable the last game, but I expect him to play and play a lot of minutes uh, and he has a lot of potential for another big game, especially with Kyrie Irving out. He should be, able to be in triple-double watch again. Uh, looking at Jamal Murray, he's also played pretty well lately, though he's been up and down. This matchup, though, is very good for him. He's a little bit pricey, but I think he's a viable option on the slate as he has a lot of upside in this matchup. Uh, then we're going to look at Quentin Grimes uh, for the, net, the Knicks. Uh, his minutes should continue to stay over 20, fast, 20 over the last for the next few games with Randall and Robinson both out and the, their lineups shifting a little bit. Though he does have a very low floor, as you can tell, he definitely has a good ceiling for this game. He's definitely worth a look in this matchup as I think he'll get a decent amount of minutes. Looking at some more GPP plays here, we're going to start with uh, Jalen Green for Houston. Now he has a little bit pricey here, but he has played pretty well throughout the season. Though he's been up and down, but the last three games he's been very solid, and I expect that to continue here as his minutes should stay in the round 30, if not a little bit higher. So as long as he's playing over 30 minutes, he's definitely a viable option. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see a little bit about Houston as they continue to change their roster, their lineups and stuff a lot lately. I'm also going to talk about Cam Thomas and Cam Johnson here. Now Cam Thomas started the last game. Now this was due to Cam Johnson being out. We don't know yet if Cam Johnson will... Uh, be out or play today, but if Cam Johnson was to be out and Cam Thomas would start, he'd become a very good play on the slate. In fact, he'd probably be a core play, but we do have to wait and see on that information. Cam Johnson also in play if he does play, as he's played pretty solid throughout the season when he's given the opportunity, though he's been a little bit up and down. His minutes sometimes fluctuate, but I do like his potential in this game, assuming he is playing today. Looking at Dante Din uh, Divincenzo for the Knicks, his usage should go up a little bit as a result of the injuries to the Knicks. I expect him and Josh Hart to both have some utility here. Uh, Hart also looks like an interesting play as well. He's a little bit safer, I feel like, than Devenso, and I think his minutes are a little bit more positively affected due to the injuries to the Knicks, but I still think that they have some risk. Uh, but Hart definitely is in play on the slate, as a, especially as a GPP play here. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. also in play today for Memphis. He's played pretty well lately. Uh, his minutes have been pretty consistent, and he has a pretty good ceiling. His floor is a little bit lower than I like, but his price is still solid, and he's got a favorable matchup here, so he's definitely worth a look today. Uh, Luke, uh, let's see, Luke Kennard, I can't spell. Luke Kennard is probable today, but uh, if he does draw the start, he should be fine. Uh, he's been playing a lot of minutes, so you do want to make sure that he's uh, going to play, but he doesn't have a super high ceiling. 
especially with this price coming up. So he is squarely a GPP play, assuming he does play. And then we'll look at Kevin Heater for Sacramento. Now, he's not somebody I typically like, but the last uh, week or so, he's been absolutely phenomenal. He's having a bunch of 30 fantasy point games or higher, as you can see. And so he's definitely a GPP play on the slate, especially in a plus matchup. Even though in the one game he played against Memphis, he didn't do well, he definitely has some potential today, given the fact that he's getting over 30 minutes, and he seems like he's supplanted some other guys in the rotation there. Uh, with that said, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. As I said, this slate is a little bit r risky today, as it's a big one, and there's not a lot of, like, jump out of your socks plays, but there's definitely some good plays on the slate, so it's definitely one worth doing, but I do think it's going to be a high-scoring slate. And so you want to, you know, favor the games that have the higher scoring potential. So with that said, guys, thank you again for liking, coming, subscribing, and have a nice day, guys.